Welcome back to another video. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. Um, wow. It's been a busy week, a uh, busy few weeks. So uh, I got some parts today. Uh, I'm gonna toss them on the car. Um, yeah, my car is, it's, it's running fine. Um, for some reason, I just feel like putting more and more and more parts on it. Um, yeah, it's like the dealership mentality. You know what I mean? You don't quite know what's wrong. It's not 100%, but it's okay. So just like throw a bunch of parts at it because you really can't figure it out or you can't narrow it down. So I don't know if this is necessarily one of those things, but uh, when I'm running my JB4, my car gets around 17 pounds of boost sometimes on my stock turbos, which my stock turbo was, uh, they're, they're limiting my power. There's no question about that. Um, I'm gonna upgrade those eventually, but I want them to fail first. Um, unless, of course, I just come into a bunch of money out of nowhere or someone sponsors me um, with my small YouTube channel, then then yes, I'd, um, I'd toss some new turbos on it. Um, speaking of that, I'm, I'm a little conflicted. I think I wanna go single turbo, top mount, hot side, um, just because my car's an all wheel drive and if something ever went wrong with the turbo, I just don't wanna go through the headache. But I'm, uh, I'm going to be getting a shop built here shortly, hopefully this spring. Um, and then obviously above me, I'm going to have an add on above the garage here. So, um, that'll give me the opportunity to pull, pull the entire car apart and I can decide better than, you know what I mean? I'll have the lift, I'll have all the tools, I'll have all the, uh, goodies it takes to do it and do it right. Um, I really like the top mount style for one reason, because if something goes wrong, you're, you got access right there, you just pull it off. Um, bottom mounts, obviously, um, they're mounted there for a reason. Um, cooling, um, less risk of fire because you're not near any, as much of the plastic and, and yada, yada, yada. But anyways, um, I got a new map sensor for my charge pipe. Um, you have your manifold map sensor and your charge pipe map sensor um, the charge pipe's going to measure like your boost and stuff like that. So if you're around 15 to, uh, according to my research, 15 to 20 pounds of boost, your, your factory map sensor on your charge pipe, um, is not going to read your boost accurately. So I got a 3.5 bar in 20, uh, map sensor and the adapter from ECS tuning. So let's have a look. Got this in the mail Monday and, uh, I've been out of town, um, since Sunday night, so we're just cruising in. I think today's Wednesday, so um, open this bad boy up and see what we got. All right, so they sent me, well first, this is the adapter because my car cannot run the N20 map sensor. You can depend and mess with the factory setup and do all that, but why? Um, this was like 30 bucks. Why, why would you even bother even messing with it when you can just buy this, plug it in and be done? You know, it's QC'd, it's, it's good to go. So um, bought that, I will put the link in the description. And then I got two options, should be a Continental. Um, which one's this one? So I got the Continental. And then the OEM BMW replacement, BMW group. Um, this one was like a hundred and something bucks and this one was 68 bucks. Um, this was actually a surprise from my wife. So, you know, find someone that uh, knows you enjoy doing things and, and surprises you with shit like this. You know what I mean? Uh, that's a huge help. Um, you need support uh, when you're messing with cars and when you want to upgrade them. And when you want to just take them to crazy places, uh, yeah, you need proper support. Anyways, uh, let's open these up and have a look. So what happened was, is I asked for all this stuff and they put it in my cart and then um, she has access to my cart. So she looked in there for some odd reason. Maybe I was being a good boy um, and bought what was in my cart. So that's why I have two of the same. I have both options. She didn't know, you know, the discussions I was having back and forth with ECS tuning. So, um, I'm going to return one of these maybe, or just have it as a backup, but I definitely wanted to compare the two. Um, cause I don't think there's really a difference 
in my opinion, but uh, I could be wrong. So that's the 3.5 bar N20 map sensor, uh, the BMW one. And then I just showed you the Continental one, but uh, made in Germany. Um, I imagine the quality is the exact same. I don't know. Um, well, that one says BMW, so it probably adds another thousand horsepower. So it was way more. So that's that in a nutshell. So anyways, here's everything I got. Um, I'm going to break this stuff down, go pull my cover off, and then I'll show you how to uh, replace that real quick. So I got my light and everything set up. Um, I am waiting on a new uh, valve cover cover. I uh, can't talk right now. The beauty covered the deal there. Anyways, <clears throat> I got a carbon fiber one coming. Um, it's the only carbon fiber I'm going to put on my car. I went gloss black and uh, anyways, it was, it was cheap. I want to see the quality before I really tell you guys the price. Um, I couldn't believe the price, so I'm a little bit uh, concerned about the quality. It's been three months since I've ordered it, um, so they're made uh, made to order. Um, anyways, here's your map sensor on your charge pipe right down here. It's um, gonna be dang near in the same location as your factory one, and mine are five millimeter Allens. Um, so we'll break into that in a minute. I said it was, uh, it's been a long few weeks, um, and I haven't really uploaded anything because um, the last video I did was the, um, Vader Solutions um, little guy there anyways my car was in the shop for about eight days I just uh, I said screw it I, I bucked up um, got the oil pan gasket done um, I'll throw a little a uh, few clips that my who's my service advisor down there um, he took a few videos for me of the process I mean they they treat my car like gold man they treat everybody like gold down there um, great place really thorough cleaned all my parts all my trays um, so I got a the oil housing gasket replaced that was one of the last things to do and then the oil pan gasket and then I had a, a walnut blast uh, the valves as well so they were already in there. They pulled the manifold to get the housing apart and uh, just a bang up job. That was the last portion of all the maintenance on this car. Um, I got this car for cheap because I knew it, it needed some work and around the mileage that it's at, they're all going to need work. Um, no one can tell me anything different. Um, the, the seals and the gaskets they use from BMW are just they're not good, um, period. No one can change my mind. I've got a new valve cover, valve cover gasket, trans pan, uh, gasket, uh, filter, everything, oil pan gasket, oil housing gasket, and it wasn't cheap at all. One of these days I'll do an overview, but I think I'm like seven G's in maintenance on a car that I paid less than 10 grand for. 
I mean, it's a beautiful car. I love the platform. Um, you're going to sink a lot of money in these, um, period, especially if you don't have the tools or the lift. You could do it for cheaper. I think the $800 range for all the gaskets and then the labor or whatever, your, your labor is free or whatever. So um, just food for thought. If you want to get this platform and you want to run it and maintain it and get good horsepower out of it, those are all things that you need to do. So anyways, uh, let's get to it. I don't really have a good way to show you guys how to get to these so I'm thinking I'm gonna get them off camera but you can see the map sensor right there I added a little bit of a light um, there's two five millimeter Allen heads I'm gonna loosen those up and then pick up after that all right real quick it took me two seconds to pull those out they're right there my trusty workbench slash my dog food container and then we're just gonna wiggle that guy off and unplug him all right, you just pop that guy off. You can see the wire right there. And then here's my old one. So it's just got a little tab right there that you lift up on and pull off. So yeah, this is my stock one. It's not dirty. Uh, my manifold map sensor was covered in oil. So, uh, and I'm not upgrading or replacing this cause it's broken. Uh, I just, it's not accurate for the boost levels I'm trying to run. So, or that's my assumption anyway. All right, for reference, you can see the old style has the clip like that. The new style does not, but the adapter, you know, it's basically the old style to the new style. Four wires, four pins, same, same, plug and play. New one just clips on there like so. Make sure it uh, fully engages and it actually gives you a lot more space. A lot more space to pull it out and maneuver and then I'll just make sure it's tucked in behind there so it's not rubbing on the steering link and all that stuff so we'll plug the new one in we'll slap that on there and then uh, we should be good to go short and sweet install you can see I got it zip tied up out of the way there it was a five millimeter allen key and a pick tool that's all I needed for the job so um, it's raining today, uh, it's supposed to be nice this weekend. I'll take it out on a test drive and uh, I'll give everybody an update. All right guys, nothing exciting today. Um, quick video, uh, straight to the point. Um, there was nothing wrong with my factory map sensor. I just, uh, I'm running like 17 plus uh, pounds of boost on those stock turbos, which uh, it's pushing those. I think they were factory set for like eight tops. Anyway, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I spend my own money on this stuff, my own time. Um, I do it to possibly help someone out. Um, I did a little research and, and seeing that this was an issue. So um, I bought the parts and put them on there. So thanks for watching. Thanks to all of you for subscribing. Uh, means a lot to me. Um, I'm not trying to be a professional YouTuber. Uh, obviously, I don't even have enough followers to make money on this stuff. Um, that's not my end goal. My end goal is to... Uh, buy products, um, mess with my car. Um, I really enjoy it. I've done it for years. Uh, I probably own 40 plus cars in my life. I used to um, auction, buy, sell, and trade those things when I was younger um, to make some extra money or a living in general. So I've always liked messing with them. Um, I'm, I'm close to this car to being finished. I just want to enjoy it for a little while now that I've done everything that I've done. I went over some of the maintenance things. Um, you know, you could have saved money by doing them yourself, but uh, some of the stuff I just don't have the the tools and all that stuff. So I felt it was better to have a professional do it. And the place I go is three year, 36,000 mile warranty on all this stuff. So, um, you know, parts that contain oil and pressure and coolant and stuff like that. I just, I can sleep better at night knowing I have that warranty. I'm knowing that they'll back that warranty and the level of service they provide. They're, um, they're a maintenance shop. They're not a tune shop by any means, but uh, they do a bang up job and I really appreciate what they do. Um, thanks for watching my video. Um, like and subscribe if you want. Uh, I'm not trying to push any of that. Uh, I'm going to always give, even if I get the parts for free at some point, I'm always going to give a straightforward evaluation of what I think of the product. Um, appreciate you watching the video. Um, have a great day.